tracking out beats on the MPC 2000 to Ableton Live. Ableton Live is my main music software and tracking out beats from the MPC 2000 is a piece of cake. You don't even need the eight outs. I use the Motu M4 audio interface. The first thing to do is connect the MIDI cables. I'm gonna run one MIDI cable from the MIDI out of the MPC to the MIDI in on the M4. I'm also gonna run a cable from the MIDI out of the M4 to the MIDI in on the MPC. To get set up on the MPC 2000, I'm gonna enter the MIDI and sync settings menu on the MPC. I'm setting the mode to MIDI clock on the in and out and setting the receive MMC to on for both channels. To get set up in Ableton Live, I'm gonna enter the link and MIDI menu in preferences. I'm checking to make sure that the MIDI in of the M4 is on and the MIDI out is on, along with the sync. I'm gonna build a quick drum beat with this 808 kit and track out the individual sounds from the kit onto separate tracks. You could do this all in one swoop if you have the eight outs, but maybe you don't, and also maybe you sample in stereo and are wanting to track out of the main outs anyway. I have the main outs of this MPC connected to the inputs of the M4's front panel. The M4 has a monitor feature, so I can hear the MPC anytime as long as it's connected, which is nice while putting together a sequence. Okay, now I'm going to enter track mute mode and prepare to turn the tracks on and off. You could do this with the on off button or the solo button as well. I'm going to pull up a single audio track in Ableton and set my inputs for 1 and 2. I'm also going to make sure that track number 1 on the MPC is solo. Now I'm going to arm the track for recording in Ableton. Because we have everything in sync, the MPC will start playing the sequence automatically. All we have to do is record each track by itself and repeat the process until done. Once everything is recorded, I'm going to turn off the input monitors on the M4. And now everything is in Ableton and we can solo and mute tracks in here, add filters, effects, and construct the rest of our beat. It's also probably good to note that the MPC is still in sync, so you can keep adding to this beat in the exact same way that we did before. And that's how you track out beats on the MPC 2000.